If you suspect your vehicle has a faulty body control module, in this video, I will tell you common symptoms to watch for and a few basic checks you can do to help pinpoint the issue. What exactly is a body control module? Modern vehicles often have several computers, including an engine control module or ECM, transmission control module or TCM, ABS module, and the body control module or BCM. Each module handles specific functions. For example, the TCM controls gear shifting and other transmission-related tasks, while the ECM manages engine performance including fuel injection, timing and sensors like the O2 sensor. The BCM, on the other hand, is responsible for all the electronic systems in the vehicle's body. That includes things like power windows, door locks, headlights, interior lights, the horn, windshield wipers, and more. Essentially, it's the computer that controls your car's body features. Here's a basic example of how the body control module works. Let's say you press the button to lock your car doors. That action is an input. The signal from that switch travels through the CAN bus, which is a communication network of wires connecting all the vehicle's control modules. Think of the CAN bus like your car's version of home internet wiring. It allows all the different computer modules, like the engine, transmission, and body systems, to communicate with each other. Once the signal reaches the body control module, it recognizes the command and sends power to the door lock actuators, locking the doors. The same process happens for other systems the BCM controls, such as windows, lights, and wipers. So, when the body control module fails, you'll usually start noticing issues with multiple electronic features in the vehicle. While it's possible for just one component, like a door lock, to stop working due to a specific circuit failure inside the BCM, it's more common to see several features fail at once. For example, your power windows might stop working, the door locks might not respond, and even the horn could go out. Despite all this, the engine will usually run perfectly fine since it's managed by a separate computer, the engine control module. Sometimes, though, the BCM can affect engine-related systems, particularly things like the immobilizer or key recognition circuits, because it controls those as well. But in most cases, the engine runs smoothly, even if you're having a range of other electrical issues related to the body control module. Symptoms of a bad body control module If your body control module starts to fail, you'll usually see problems with any of the systems it manages. This includes components like the headlights, horn, radio, AC, power windows, and more. These features might stop working entirely, or they may start working erratically, turning on or off at random. Another common sign is a dashboard full of warning lights, sometimes lighting up all at once like a Christmas tree. You might also notice that your battery keeps draining, even though the battery itself is in good condition. That's often due to a short circuit or parasitic draw caused by a malfunctioning component the BCM controls. Issues can also pop up in the vehicle's security system, climate controls, or driver assist features. Many of these systems rely on communication between modules, and when the BCM goes bad, that communication can break down. If you connect a scan tool to the vehicle, you're likely to see communication-related trouble codes. A common example is U0140, lost communication with body control module, though there are many similar codes that indicate the BCM isn't communicating properly with other systems. These codes are often the first clue that the BCM is the root of the problem. What to check if you suspect a bad body control module? If you think your body control module might be failing, there are a few basic checks you should do before replacing anything. First, make sure the battery is fully charged and in good condition. Also, verify that your alternator is working properly and there are no charging issues. All computer modules in your vehicle, including the BCM, require a stable and reliable power supply so electrical problems can easily cause false symptoms or communication errors. Next, inspect your fuses. Start by checking any labeled PCM, ECM, ECU, or BCM, but it's a good idea to go over all computer-related fuses in the fuse box. Even a single blown fuse can interrupt power to the BCM or its connected systems, so this is a simple but important step in ruling out other causes. You'll also want to check that the body control module has a solid ground connection. All computer modules rely on proper grounding, and if the ground wire is loose, corroded, or damaged, it can cause all kinds of electrical issues. A quick test is to use a jumper wire to manually ground the BCM. If that clears the issue, you've likely found the problem. In addition, inspect the wiring harness that connects the BCM and other control modules. 
Look for any signs of damage, such as frayed wires, rodent chewing, or corrosion. Poor connections, damaged plugs, or even loose pins can cause intermittent problems. Sometimes, simply disconnecting and reseating the connectors can restore communication and clear error codes. So, be sure to thoroughly check the wiring harness as part of your troubleshooting. You can also inspect the body control module for any signs of burning or damage. Sometimes, when a module fails, there may be a noticeable burnt smell, which can point to a shorted circuit or a blown capacitor inside the unit. If you're comfortable doing so, you can even open the module's casing and look for any scorch marks, melted components, or damaged capacitors. While not every failed BCM will show visible signs of damage, a burnt odor is a strong indicator that the module is compromised and likely needs to be replaced. So, that's basically it. If you have anything to add, feel free to leave a comment down below. If this video was helpful, please hit like, subscribe to the channel, and have a great day.